Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me yet, my name is Mariana. So in this video I will show you guys how I will transform this wig into something new. So we are in the house, we're all uh, getting tired of this coronavirus. So I wanted to change this hair for a long time and today was the right day. So let's do this, but first we're gonna go, go and watch my intro. <laughs> So again, this is the hair that we're going to be working with. Um, I will now take the wig off and I will show you uh, the, the products that I will be using. So this product is the um, uh, Cream Perox Peroxide Oxidant Cream. And the brand is from Showtime System for Hair. And I bought the 9%. And the other thing that you, that you will have to use is the blonding powder also from Showtime and it's called Extra Light. You also have to find some stuff to, to make your mixture in and you're gonna have to need a small comb, a brush, a comb, other materials uh, that will make it easier to, to work with the hair. So I put on the wig so you can see how it looks like. It's actually quite long as you can see. I really love this length but you know I couldn't work with the hair anymore and so I had to do something with it. So remember this length because we will be cutting it in 3, 2, 1 and voila here we are. While you went to the toilet I already cut the hair. Uh, what I simply did was uh, putting the hair into an elastic and just cut uh, the part where I thought it was the right length and this is uh, what it became so now it's time to put a plastic bag around your mannequin head so you can protect the head and let's paint the hair so this is the mixture that I made I use about 50% of the blonding powder and I use about one third part of the cream peroxide. So this is the hair on the mannequin head. So I will cut it here and there a little bit more. And then I will section the hair in um, two parts. In the meantime, I also went to get some uh, little clips to be able to part the hair. And yeah, just watch me do this process and I will show you so now it's time to start uh, painting the hair. Like I told you before, I'm not a professional. I just do what I can and I haven't done this for a long, long time. I believe the last time that I colored a wig was, um, I don't know, many years ago. Maybe about eight years ago, something like that. So I, I would just take a little bit uh, of the, yeah, how do you call it, of the, of the coloring and I will start putting it uh, like on top of the hair so make sure that your wig is not gl gliding uh, sliding off so little by little I will just put little by little uh, on the hair and you may have to make sure that you're not doing this too slow because otherwise other parts will be very blonde and the other sides will be dark and it's difficult because you have to wash it off at some point. And for those of you that want to know, if you buy the um, creme peroxide, they also write on the back. Let me see. No, you have to look on the, the blonding powder. The blonding powder they said, where was it written? Yeah, so um, you can buy uh, three types of peroxide. You can buy the 6%, so that's a creamy stuff. You can buy 6%, 9% or 12%. And 6% is like for normal hair, so hair that's already a bit light. But if you have like darker hair or black hair, 
and you want to make like a lighter part you have to buy the 9 or 12 percent so like I told you before the one that I'm using is the 9 percent so that's why it became the color that it became you will see later in the video so if you want your hair to be much lighter or like almost too blonde you have to buy the 12 percent okay now we're going to speed up the process a little bit So if you look closely you can already see that some parts on top are already getting a bit lighter so I have to be quick So this is how the wig looks now. Um, at one point I took the wig from the mannequin and I just placed it on the table and started to paint the inside of the hair. So now I'm just brushing the, 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 the paste, the coloring paste through my hair to get like this highlights, coupsolei effect, I don't know how you can call it. But you can already see that the hair is starting to get lighter and lighter a nice uh, honey brown color. I really love it already but I know that it has to stay a bit more longer to get the exact um, at the back of the blonding powder it says that you have to use about 30 minutes if you have lighter hair and you have to leave it on for about 50 minutes if you have like darker hair so I also use about 50 minutes to do um, the, the whole process of coloring the hair at the back of the blonding powder it says that you have to use about 30 minutes if you have lighter hair and you have to leave it on for about 50 minutes if you have like darker hair so i also use about 50 minutes to do um, the the whole process of coloring the hair a few moments later <laughs>
guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So, like I told you, like I showed you guys before, I use the two products, ble bleaching powder and um, other fluid. And this is how it became. I'm so happy with the color. It's so beautiful. It's like a honey, um, honey brown, honey brown color. And I left the edges, edges to be uh, dark. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So I let the air, so I let the hair uh, air dry. And this is how it became. And this hair is originally, um, originally this hair has curls. So when I wet it or when I put like curl and answer in it, the curls will come back a little bit. But you can see in the back, it's already becoming a bit straight because I uh, calmed it too much. Um, but yeah, I'm not mad at it. And you see the way I cut it, it's like a long bob. In the front a bit longer and then it becomes shorter. So maybe when wearing it outside, uh, I just have to check how, how, how I feel about it. But maybe later on I will cut it a, a bit more shorter. Maybe somewhere over here. I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. So I have a curl enhancer here. It's called Curl Activator, I think. Hair cream curl. Yeah, and it's from the Ethos. It's a Dutch brand. So I will just put a little bit in my hair so you can see how the hair will change. Um, so let me first start on this side. So I just go slowly, slowly through it. And even in the back, you can see there were all a bit more curls. You see? So, a little bit here. I believe you can put this on dry hair, but also on wet hair. Let me read the back. Oh, here it says, uh, use it on dry hair. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. A little bit more. So I don't want to go hard on this hair in the front because it's already losing its curls. But you can see the texture of the hair. Let me show you the back. You see? Before and after. Okay, let me also put something on this side. So you don't really need much for this hair. So I think I used in total five little pumps on this side. And so on this side I will do the same. I really love this color, it's so beautiful and it's so natural. So I think I'm gonna wait till it's like almost summer or at least a little bit warmer than now and then I will start wearing the hair.
Look at this, look at this, look at this. So one more pump for the back. A little bit more back. I cannot see it, but I will show you in the camera. Trying to spread it around a little bit. Ooh. You see? And I really love this product. I already bought it um, one time before. I use it on other curly hair and really en enhances your curls. And I think this product only costs like three euros or something. So it's really something cheap, but it does work. So that's good. So I think I will leave it like this. So this is how the hair looks like. Cool, huh? Oh, and if you really go through the hair, you will also see some, you know, a little bit dark shades, but that's what I really, really like. You know, I didn't want to paint all of it like brown, orange, orangey, so I like the, the dark parts. You can still see a little bit. So guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments. It was so easy and I'm not a professional probably. You've probably seen it when I was painting the hair for those that do it more often. <laughs> I'm not a professional, but look, so easy. Close up. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you all also uh, painted your hair before by yourself or do you all always go to the hairdresser. Let me know what you think about this hair. Uh, is it a yes or a no? Uh, would you have left it the way it was? Like black, long and yeah, the way it was or are you happy with the result? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next time. Bye bye.